Hi, good evening to you all, to the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls. Welcome back to my channel. That's me, myself, your guy, and your only DLG repping. Now, um, I want to go through to, um, yesterday's and today's um, Premier League um, fixture roundup. And um, we've had some, <coughs> some good games, loads of goals couple of red cards I believe so let me start off with the first game um, of yesterday, uh, yesterday which ended Leeds United 2 no the first one was Everton 5 Leeds United Everton 5 West Bromwich Albion 2 and that was um, well I think it was more or less always one sided and when I watched the highlights West Brom uh, took the lead and it was a fine goal by Diana Guiana. Diana Ghana, however you pronounce his name. Um he scored a fine good goal. And um <coughs> in that first half it had it um had it all four goals and um Pereira's free kick was probably the best goal of the game. Some would argue Diana Guiana Dana or Diana Ghana. Uh his name's um complicated um Pronounced, but it was a good goal. <coughs> he scored. Um, Everton, from their point of view, they contributed um, remotely to the first half, and um, they equalised. And that was through Dominic Calvin Lewin's first um, of the of, of the game, second this season. And then um, James Rodriguez gets a fine strike on his left foot. He always had a dangerous left peg. Six years ago, he scored one of the... For me, he scored the goal, um, the goal of the tournament in the, in the World Cup in Brazil. Was it six years ago? No, 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 no. Yeah, it was six years ago. Wow, how time flies. <laughs> yeah, he scored one of the best goals. And um, that made it 2-1. But um, the, the goal of the first half came from Pereira for me. And him and Diana Nagana, they're going to be playing Premier League football next season. They're both going to possibly stay until West Brom go down, but they will be in Premier League teams next season. Mark my words. And then Kieran Gibbs' moment of stupidity. Yes, you get a little foul. Fair enough. But um, the moment you you raise your hand against an opponent, straight red. Why VAR would have checked that, I do not know. It's a straight red. Referee's got to use his common sense first. It, or... The person upstairs, wherever, he's got to use his common sense first. He can see that's a clear red card. It's an assault. Man slaps him. Man slaps all. He slapped him across his face. Look. Straight red for Kieran Gibbs. Stupid. You know, he's really stupid. Man of his experience. You know, someone I know very well in his time at Arsenal. And um, he should know better. But um, Slevin Bilic, and I will say this, one of the talking points of that um, half-time interval was Slevin Bilic um, challenging the referee. Yes, he was right to challenge the referee. But for me, <coughs> why would you uh, attempt or put your hands on the referee? Mike Dean is an experienced official. And I think if he felt the contact... From you, then he has every right to send you to the stands. It was silly. You lost control, and then in the second half, Everton blew your team away, and Dominic Calvin Lewin completed his hat trick in that half. So that was Everton five, West Brom two. My next um, match day preview, uh, match day roundup was um, Leeds United four. Fulham three and um well I can remember Scott Parker speaking about what he wants of his players but I'm gonna go into the game itself and um, for me Leeds um, took the lead and rightfully so I think the goal oh who scored the goal I think it has something to do no um Helder Costa with a from what ten yards out. 10, 15, well, 10 to 15 yards out um, with a thunderbolt with a left foot. For the equalised through a stupid, stupid, stupid um, tackle from the centre-half. 
the ball's going away from him. I felt um, Mr. Oh, Brian, Joe Brian was easily favourite to get the ball. You get goals, well, you get it tight as you can, but you do not go in. You're not going to win the ball. It's in the path of um, Joe Bryan. But what do you do? You went in, brought him down, caused him to trip. Well, and then, before you know it, you've conceded a stupid penalty, which Mitrovic, um, Mitrovic um, com comfortably um, tucked away. And then in the second half, Leeds went crazy. Goals after goals, I mean... Bamford, well, no, 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 sorry, Leeds went 2-1 up in that first half and um, uh, Joe Bryan wins the penalty for his team and then he goes and does something stupid. Why would you just push Bamford? When the cross comes in from the left, why are you pushing Bamford? You know, that was your own doing. First and foremost, you got the wrong side of your opponent. Second of all, you go and do a stupid thing like that. Crazy. Should have got goal side of your opponent. It's as simple as. And um, as I spoke, as I speak, um, Leicester um, scored a third goal. So it's Leicester City three, Burnley one. Um, and then, well, the penalty gets um, tucked away. Um, I think Bamford. Was it Bamford? Yeah. No, it was. Oh, I've forgotten who it was. I think it was Klitsch. He tucks away the penalty. And then Bamford gets the third goal. He's first of the afternoon and then Helder Costa gets a nice little um, tap in at the roof of the net, assisted by Bamford. And then Fulham um, stage an eight comeback. Um, Di, Di, Di Kakova Reed and um, Mitrovic and Paul two goals back, but um, Leeds United did enough to hold on to their victory. Their first victory in the Premier League in 16 years at Ellen Road. So congratulations to Leeds and that front. <laughs> uh, and then... <clears throat> Manchester United's um, shocking performance. But um, for me, the talking point of that 3-1 game was the red card. Never, well, the penalty, should I say. Not a red card. Never, ever, ever was that a penalty. I personally believe it hit his um, chest. I've seen it a number of times. I was at the box park watching um, bits of it. And um, I saw the situation. It hit his chest. When um, Jordan Ayew, um well poked it towards um, goal, but it was, he was going to miss it badly, horribly, and the, um, it was at his chest. How how the referee gave a penalty is beyond me. It is actually beyond me. And um, for me, what can I say? Well, the first goal, well, in the first, watching the highlights, watching, yeah, watching the highlights, um, Palace started off um, brightly and um, they deserved to go one new up. Andros Townsend with, the, with a goal. And then during that, um, that, that first half spell, Palace could have scored two, maybe three goals, I heard. But Man United kept um, persevering, but I don't think they did enough in that first half. And in the second half, not um, much of an improvement. In fact, they were equally just as poor. And the penalty controversial came and it was just... Oh, manic. I mean, De Gea saved the penalty, but he was deemed to be um, off his line. And that was from the first um, penalty with the handball from Lindelof. <laughs> I think it was just crazy, you know, where the ball hit him in the chest first. I do not think it was a penalty. Maybe his arm was out in the place where it shouldn't be, but it never once touched his arm. Not for me. I don't think it was ever a penalty. It was, in fact, it was a ridiculous penalty. Oh, shambolic. And then the second penalty, after the ball was in play, the referee stopped the game and then he was, because he was advised from control, or headquarters to give um, the second penalty, which was taken by the Wilfred Saha, top of the roof of the net, right hand corner, yeah, top right hand corner. Keeper, um, the hair had no chance, so it was 2 1 Palace. And then 
Saha turns um, I believe was Maguire or Lindelof I'm not too sure I need to see the goal again and scores um, the third boy what can I say I mean that really puts Oli at the wheel <laughs> um, the next game was involving um, Arsenal v West Ham and I'll tell you what as an Arsenal man I am relieved that we won that game I'm more relieved than happy to have won. I would have been happier to I would have been happier to have won the game, but with a what do you call? I would have been happier to have won the game but with a performance. The performance was shambolic, utter dogs dogs foul, and for me, we were fortunate to. get the three points we were fortunate to um, not lose the game because West Ham were superb in the first 20 minutes we looked nervous and very shaky at the back and we were well, all over the place in midfield where there was space but West Ham just couldn't exploit that space yes we went one new up and it felt like it was against the run of play then the equaliser oh, just the same same old same old with that back four we looked a lot more solid against Fulham, to be fair, because I thought Fulham came at us earlier on in last week's game, but in this game, we were anything but solid. And um, credit to um, West Ham, they deserve to go into an interval with a scoreline at 1 1. We were not at our very best, and in the second half, we were worse, absolutely worse. We were lucky to get away um, with not going two goals behind in that second half. Antonio could have had two goals. He hit the bar, uh, or and he um, had an effect in another effort which um, Leno saved. So it, we were against the Kosh every time West Ham came at us. We, we were in trouble. But for me, it just shows Gabriel defended well, and then in the end, a moment of um, passing brilliance. So Bales lays it off to um. Eddie Nketiah and he was not going to miss from there and for me it was um, well deserved it, well not well deserved it was um, smash and grab and a hard fought victory for me on another day we could have lost that game and Arsenal should have lost but I'll be grateful for the three points but not the performance and um, I'm relieved and today's game, um, at the moment, it's Leicester City 3, Burnley 1. And um, Leicester have been in control of the game. Uh, more than what I can say about my team um, yesterday night at the Emirates. Um, today's games, um, Tottenham 5-1 winners. They went on a route. I mean, at the beginning of the game, they look anything but a football team. And you can see individ individuals looking like they w were not interested Really not interested. They'd rather be elsewhere. And then Son gets the equaliser dead on before half-time. And that comes after um, Southampton. Danny Inc scored a fine finish. And it was a brilliant finish for me. But um, <coughs> Tottenham in the second half just blew him away. And even against the end of play, Tottenham were not the better side in that first half. Southampton were. And they deserve to be one new up at one point. But for me, um, Tottenham, well, a good min moment of brilliance for um, Todd Guy on Nombele finding uh, Harry Kane and Harry Kane with the assist, super sublime assist. And he Hingman Son with his pace, well, what can I say? Devastating. And his finish was devastating as well. And in the second half, wow. It was a Him Ming Son show. His finishing was excellent at the highest level. And for me, you take away Harry Kane and Son and Tottenham are nothing. And I'll tell you about Tottenham, yeah? Let me let me say this live and exclusive while I'm recording. You do not win a trophy. Bye-bye, Him Ming Son, and goodbye to Harry Kane. And that's for Gareth Bell. He doesn't care. Whether he wins a trophy or not, deep down he doesn't care because he'll go back to Real Madrid and pocket another 
and pocket more of his 650000 a week. And that's the truth. Uh, so, um, moving on from Tottenham, well, so, well from Tottenham's um, impressive away win against Southampton, and I will give credit where credit is due. They blew Southampton away because Southampton went to play the high line and commit suicide. They did. Um, the other game today, um, I can't comment much on um, Newcastle, Neil Brighton 3. Although I hear, I read that Mopai um, got um, two goals today in that game. Um, another um, game that I would like to comment on, um, which happened at um, Stamford Ridge earlier, where it was a boring game of, the first half was a boring game of football until <clears throat> the moment Christus, um, Christensen um, went to sleep. Jordan Henderson plays a long ball and um, it caught at Christensen off guard and he was struggling for pace against Mane. Bear hugged him, he grabbed him, cuddled him, whatever you want to call it. And for me, it was a straight red. Referee didn't even need to go to the VAR. The person in, in headquarters did not need to call for VAR. It was in black, it was clear evident that Christensen had to see red in that game. And for me, no complaints. And then Liverpool took control in the second half and Mane scored two. I mean, the first goal, good build-up towards um, Mane's first. And well assisted by um, Firmino. Second goal, utterly... Well, yeah, utterly diabolical. Where Kepa um, Aris, Aris Balanga, Aris Balanga, sorry, paid the price for trying to be casual, and um, it ultimately cost um, Chelsea the game. Chelsea had a penalty later on in the game, and um, it was well saved by um, it was a Jorginho penalty, and it was well saved by Allison. And um, massive um, credit to um, Allison because um, Alisson, he watched it all the way and he guessed the right way. And Liverpool kept their clean sheet with a 2 0 win. And, well, it's a game that um, that Liverpool will, will presented them the opportunity to get the three points. And um, as I just speak, um, Burnley have just scored, well, their second goal of the game with 18 minutes to go. So, you know, there's still enough time for Burnley to get something out of this game. Leicester have considered a very sloppy goal from their part. And um, Brendan Rodgers would not be too pleased. Yeah. The defending and the marking was just not good enough. Not good enough. Again, um, I think Justin James there, he's, he's running with his man or he's running to try and cover him. And he's not um, been strong enough in the air. So... Yeah, good header. Good downward header from a set piece. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my roundup. And um, at the moment, it's currently Leicester City 3, Burnley 2. And with um, 17 minutes to spare, plus stoppage time, Leicester could um, seal the game off. Or, if the momentum's in the favour of Burnley, they could get... Um, and equalise and take a point back to Turf Moor. But we shall see. So, um, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're all football fans around the world, thank you for listening, thank you for watching again, and thank you for tuning in. Um, I'll be back um, tomorrow afternoon after work for me. So, um, and this evening as well. And um, tomorrow evening, should I say. This evening is night now. <laughs> and um, this evening... I'll be back for another um, up-to-date football context and uh, some transfer talk as well. Otherwise, um, peace again, love again, and bless again. Do um, subscribe. Well, do subscribe to my channel, like, and um, comment as well. Thank you once again. I'm out of here, and um, I'll be back um, tomorrow. Good night, and make sure you rest well. Ta-da. <laughs>